Yeah, hello everyone. Myself Maruti, welcoming you to Ram Maruti Tutorials back again with a beautiful sum. Right now, the topic what I have taken is uh, arithmetic progressions, an important concept in progressions topic. As we have all the three topics: arithmetic progression, geometric progression, and harmonic progression in our progression topic. Right now, in the arithmetic progression, the topic what I am going to do is nothing but application of sum to n terms formula. Right. So, word problems we are going to come across in many competitive examinations or CBSC, ICSC or SSC syllabus. Right. Application of sum to n terms formula. So, you might be recalling, you might be recalling few things like sum to n terms formula n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Of course, we are having other parts of the sum also that we are going to use in this sum. All right, sum to n terms, applications, let's go. All right, so what is the given question here? The sum of the sum of 700 rupees is used to give a cash price to a student, right, in a school or of a school, All right? So what is the total sum he has given? He has given 700 rupees, right? It is given as cash price to the students of the school, All right? So what is the condition he has given to us? He has given a condition that each price, each price is 20 rupees less than the preceding price. So what is the meaning of preceding price? Preceding means the term which is just beside it, preceding term. So the condition he has given, total how many prices? Seven, right? What is the total sum? 700 rupees. What is the only logic what he has given? Every price is 20 less than the preceding price. Let's go to that sum now. So what he has given, let us go with the sums, whatever he has given. Now, what is the given concept, what he is talking about? Sum of rupees, 700. Sum of rupees, 700. That is the first one. So I can take it as SN is equal to 700. This is what he has given first. Now, totally how many prizes he is having? Seven. Number of prizes. Let us go for the next one. Number of prizes. Right? Let us take the second point. That is nothing but N is equal to seven. Well, right? We got it. The first condition what we have taken is sum to N terms or the sum of the total money what we are having is 700. And the number of prizes, he has given it to us as seven prizes. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So he has given, I think, in the question we messed up. So number of prizes are seven. The total number of prizes are seven he has talking about. So number of prizes are seven. And what is the condition is given? Each prize is differing by a value of 20 rupees. Right. And what is the other logic we have given? Each prize, each prize differs. By how much he has given? He said it is nothing but 20 rupees. Right? So we can take that as straight away D is equal to 20. So we got the concept. The total money what he is talking about is 700. The number of prizes he is talking about 7. And each one is differing by 20. So let us take all these sums and let us take a variable now. Right, so the variable, let us go to the concept. Let the first prize be x. That is the first. Let the first prize, let us take the first prize as x. This is the trick. We are supposed to assume one variable. Right, so the variable what I took is the first prize I am taking as x now. Now, what is the condition he said? Let's utilize the condition and let's set the total number of seven prizes so that we can distribute the total 700 rupees. Okay, guys, so let the prizes, let the first prize be x and if you go for the second prize, what he said? They differ by 20. They, it is less by 20. If you take the first prize as x, obviously the second one will be x minus 20. Okay, now this is the first one. Let us go for the second one. Now, straight away, the third prize becomes x minus 40. It is differing. It is differing. Right, if you, this is nothing but the third prize. 
Okay, now let us to make you better understand, right, right, fourth prize. Let me talk to you clearly so that you can understand better. What he said, fourth prize, differing by the preceding by 20. What is the preceding of the fourth prize? It's nothing but the third prize, right, differing by 20 means less than by 20. So it is nothing but 20. Right. So, if you take, what is the third prize what we have already taken? It is nothing but x minus 40 minus 20. This is the third prize and differing by 20. What we get? Fourth prize, which is nothing but x minus 40 minus 20, which is nothing but x minus 60. What is this? It's nothing but the fourth prize. Okay, now let us recall. The first prize we are taking it as x, right? The second prize we are taking it as x minus 2. Third, to make you better understand, I have explained you the four. Now straight away go for the fifth, sixth and seven. I can go for the fifth as, as I have simplified here. Straight away you can understand it's nothing but 1x minus 80. The sixth prize, you go, you go from there onwards. 20, the third prize is 40, right? The fourth prize is going with, and the sixth prize is uh, 1x minus 100, and seventh prize, let us take it as x minus 120. Okay, so you got the concept now. The first prize we are taking it as x, x minus 20, x minus 40. This is the fourth prize, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Okay, now the tricky part is here, right? As we are using the sum to n terms formula, we are having one more option, right? What is that? The formula of that one, right? Sum to n terms, right? We can use different, different formulas here as we know the first term, right? And as we know the last term, right? As we know both, let us use the formula Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. What is that a plus l? a is nothing but the first term and l is the last term. We are taking, we are taking this as l, a and we are taking this as l. Right. So we are having two terms. That is nothing but a and we are talking about l. Let us substitute the values there. Right. Let us substitute the values there so that we can get the value. Now, right, important thing. What is Sn value? Sn value is nothing but 700 in this question. So 700 equals what is n? n is nothing but the number of terms here. Here the number of terms are nothing but the 7. So 7 by 2 into a. a is nothing but the first term. In this series, in this series, in this arithmetic series. Why did we take it as arithmetic? The common difference is same. The common difference is 2. Uh, 20. Right? The first term we are taking it as x plus the last term is nothing but x minus 120. Here we go. Now, it's the only thing left over is nothing but simplification. This is the sum. This is Sn. This is n by 2. First term is nothing but a. And the last term is x minus 20. Now, if you simplify 7 ones and 7 hundreds, it's nothing but 100 equals 1 by 2 into x plus x minus 120. If you cross this, 200 equals, if you simplify, 2x minus 120. If you transpose to the other side, 200 plus 120 equals 2x. If you check it out, it is nothing but 320 equals 2x. And if you simplify, the only thing simple left over is nothing but 2 ones and it's 160. Now, x equals rupees 160. So what is this x? The first prize. You got it. So if you get the first prize, make the difference of each and get the all other prizes. So if you go for that one, right, if the first prize, first prize, if you get it as, right, 160 rupees, then obviously get down by 20 for each prize. It goes with 140, right, 120 and it so on. Alright guys, you got the concept. What my main concept here teaching is, is nothing but how to 
apply sum to n terms formula right mainly when we know the first term and when we know the last term thank you for listening to the video i hope you understood that one and if you are interested please subscribe the channel thank you ram maruti thank you